वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुमन भट्टाचार्य अगेन फ्रॉम शोमोज बायोलॉजी एंड अगेन दिस इज अनदर वीडियो टू गिव यू सम आइडिया अबाउट सम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिगार्डिंग सीएसआई नेट एग्जाम इन लाइफ साइंसेस फॉर 2016 दिसंबर now again uh, this video is about uh, a very common question that i receive how can i answer many questions very very fast in the csi net exam now for answering that question i can tell you a simple thing that the question paper is big it's a huge question paper just like a book even it is filled with so many questions in in, in different languages based on the language you select but again uh, yeah group b questions group a questions 20 group b uh, 75 group b uh, 50 and group c 75 so total huge number of questions and group c questions are lengthier longer so even if you start reading the question from uh, group a to group c at the end from the beginning to the end of the question paper it will take at least 1 hour i believe if you read it and you need to complete that reading and writing and everything in 3 hours and that is a difficult thing now i find a way to minimize the time that you take to answer the questions because what happens actually not all of us prepare for all the modules we prepare for 5 6 7 8 9 different modules so it will be better that when you open the question you start with answering from that module you prepared because you know let's say i prepare developmental biology so i know if i go to the developmental biology part i can answer some questions i don't prepare biochemistry so biochemistry questions are at the beginning so i need to exclude that so if you start answering the biochemistry question though you are not prepared well in that module you are not going to answer so what do you end up with we end up with reading the questions and outcome is zero we don't want that we want to directly jump into the questions that we prepared directly jump into those modules that we prepared for and the only way to do is that uh, i have a list prepared for different modules that which module question are listed in the which number of the questions in the in the paper because you know i find out that that in the past four or five different questions uh, the number of questions that are being asked from developmental biology ranges from a specific range biochemistry for a specific range so it can help you to directly find out the modules that you want and answer those questions so it will it is going to save you a lot of time and another thing in the overall sense i believe it's better to go for group c first then a then b or group a first then c then b keep b in the last so let's let's go for it i'm going to tell you all those different modules and the respected number of questions asked from those modules So module one goes for seventy one to seventy five approximately. It's not like I'm not completely sure that you're going to get exactly that number of questions. But it's on an average. You can find the question if you scan. Just find out those numbers. You can find uh, those questions. Module one seventy one to seventy five. Module two seventy five to eighty. Module three eighty five to ninety. That range. Module four ninety to ninety five. Module five ninety five to hundred. Module six hundred to hundred and five and hundred and six something like that. Module seven hundred five to hundred and ten twelve. Module eight hundred and ten to hundred sixteen eighteen. Module nine from one twenty to one twenty two one twenty three like that. Module ten from question number one twenty five to one thirty, and module number eleven. Mod thirty one thirty to one thirty five, module number twelve thirteen both are combined with all the biological techniques belonging from one thirty five to one forty five number questions, and all these questions I mentioned are for module six. Uh, I mean uh, group C. All the questions are for group C because group B uh, questions will be very easy to answer. They are shorter questions. You can easily read and answer in thirty minutes. Module C will take you a lot of your time. So this is the list that I told you is going to definitely help you out. I'm going to put this list as well as in my in my CSI Net blog in my website. You can also check that out. And the list is also given in the description. You can copy that out and try doing that in the upcoming Net exam. I am sure that it's going to benefit you all the idea. But the thing is, you know, sometimes they shuffle the question a little bit. But still, I think you're going to get some idea about which region. And whenever you find one question from a module, the rest of the questions are also placed in top or the bottom of that question. So this is going to give you a better idea and edge to solve the questions and much fast way and easy way to solve the question at the better better time point. So if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends because they also need to know all this informations and sharing is good 
and uh, if you need more videos like that about CSI and net exam tips and tricks hit the subscribe button join our community thank you